Well, I'm back in the Boston Hospital, folks. Um, feeling a lot better, but uh, the uh, flow and the pain is still the same. But uh, I'll tell you about that a bit later on. But here we are in the canteen, the restaurant thing, Sharon. And uh, just to show you, we are a foodie channel, I know. So I thought I'd bring you here as well. I haven't been here for many years, but uh, the food up there looked absolutely superb. And this is what Sharon went for. Let's show you. Right, what did you go for? Lasagna and chips. Lasagna and chips. Oh, I love it. It's very, very that, tasty. Folks, is a, a substantial yeah. lasagna there. Yeah. It looks absolutely delightful. And the chips, you've had a go at the chips as well. But I, I was just saying to Mark, with a coffee, and he's got a beef salad. I'll show him that in a second. £8.80. Yeah. Unbelievable. Eight. How much did your one cost on its own? Lasagna on its own was £3.40. I don't know what the chips were, but it's still a bargain. So Sharon's got that, which is... I'd love to have a go at that, but obviously I can't because of the carb content. So I went for a a beef and chickpea salad, which again is uh, just what I wanted. I'm not really I've not really got an appetite at the moment. So I've just seen the doctor, and um, I've had more bloods taken again. Uh, thank you all in the comment section that. Uh, and those that have been messaging left, as well. Thank yeah, you. Left comments about you've had similar experiences and stuff like that. He looks at he, he looks at the uh, readings from Boxing Day compared to today, and uh, he said, "Oh, oh, you, oh, you definitely weren't well because apparently the, the the different departments don't they don't put all your history in one comment. They send it to your doctor, and then it all goes to your doctor who has access to all of that." Well, I haven't seen I haven't seen a doctor, obviously, in mean, local GP. So he looked into my records from uh, the 26th and he said, oh, you definitely weren't well, would you? Apparently the markers, the infection markers, which should have been between 0 and 5, was up to 247, I think he said they was. And uh, that indicates, obviously, that you've got a very bad infection, hence the um, antibiotics they put me on. Where did you get these infections from? But um, he said the infection markers now have gone right down, so they did still say that I've I've got the blood in my urine, I took another bit of urine, and also the glucose is still there. But, and obviously I'm still not going with no flow and it's still painful, so... Uh, but as far as the antibiotics, he said we might have to change them. But he said, first of all, we will check it, whether you've got prostatitis or something. So I've had the blood test, yeah, check the prostate basically, so I've had the blood test for that. And then he's going to give me the, uh, the manual uh, test, which where they... <laughs> insert the finger obviously so I'm having that in a minute and that will determine when they get the results of that in about an hour and a half uh, what the next course of action is but apparently the blood markers again which he didn't know until he looked at my um, accident emergency records which he went into after I mentioned that I had that test on blood he said they come down from two markers and today was, it was down to one marker, so that could be the tail end of an infection, basically. So, well, let's big up Boston. Let's oh, big they've been superb, absolutely superb. Our aunt is ill as well. She can't afford Boston, so good on you, Boston. Mm. People give you a bad write up, but you're not no, bad. Fantastic. So, I'm just waiting to have that um, manual finger jobby, and the results will be back in about an hour and a half. So, we're just going to eat this now, folks, and. Um, I'll get back to you, he said, but how do you feel in yourself? I said, well, I feel a lot better. He said, yeah, you definitely work well with them markers when you come in here on like, Boxing Day. So I feel a lot better in myself and probably you can see that as well. So thank you so much for all your comments. You, you probably noticed that I've not replied to any. I've just hearted them. It's just two minutes to go through, folks. But I've read most of them, I'll be honest with you. And uh, so, so much well wishing out there and also on Facebook as well. So I'm going to eat this now, and I'll come back to you a little bit later on when we know a bit more. So let's enjoy our dinner, shall we? Oh, yeah. Is it a taste sensation? It's all right, baby. <laughs> Hi, folks. It's now the 30th, and uh, I'm back home. I've had the test done yesterday. I'll tell you about them in a second. But first of all, we just got an Amazon parcel come along. And who's that from? Don't know who it's from, so whoever you are, thank you very much. It's for black peppercorns, which I'd put on my wish list. So thank so you very thank much you. for that. 
So anyway, just a little explanation of what I had to go through yesterday. I went back to the hospital, as you well know, and uh, I wasn't still flowing. It was still stinging and stuff like that. And uh, apparently the tests I was having was, number one was a blood test to check out the infection markers, and two was what they call a PSA test, which checks your prostate. So before I actually had them tests done, the, the doctor said to me, he said, because of your bad infection you had, I'm expecting your PSA test to be quite high, he said. It's not unusual for that to happen, he said, with a, an infection. And he said, yours was a very bad infection. He said, and also, if you had a prostate examination before you had the test, that will send the test high as well. He said, that's why we're doing it after we take the test. He said, but when the test comes back, don't be too concerned because I am expecting it to be high because of the, the bad infection you had. Anyway, the test did come back. The test was higher than what it should have been. So I've been scheduled for uh, another PSA test in a couple of weeks time and also a prostate scan. Now bearing in mind up to this, there has been no issue. So he done the examination, the manual examination, and he's, <laughs> oh no, stop doing that. Yeah. And he said that the prostate feels a little bit enlarged. He said, but that's probably due to your age. I keep forgetting, Sharon, I'm being 60 now, aren't I? He said, but the the the, stop the it, surface of it, I know I can't stop it. The surface of, I nearly done it again, look. The surface of it is lovely and smooth all the way around, he said, and uh, there's no unusual lumps or bumps or ridges on it. He said, which would be like a, a negative indicator. He said, so take that as a positive. And he said, the blood test, which uh, we uh, had, he said, your infection markers like three days ago was 247. He said, they've come down to 67 now. He said, so the antibiotics are working, but obviously still you are, have got the infection in you. And just before he done the test, probably about an hour or so before he'd done the test, I went to the toilet in the hospital, and for the first time in that period of time, I had flow. Not a very good flow, but I had flow, and there was no pain whatsoever, no urgency to run to the toilet, and I thought, yes, that's great. As Soon as he'd done that examination with the finger, after that, back to square one again. Trickle, trickle, trickle. But towards the end of today, I've started doing a bit more of a a flow sort of thing, although I'm not peeing regular, oh, sorry, I'm peeing regular, but not a lot of quantity, about 100 millilitres at a time. But he said that's good, he said that will get better. So he said the antibiotics you was on are very strong. Take them, continue to take them till the end of the um, the course, take them, he said, because they are the strong ones. He said, uh, and the doctor's surgery, he passed the information over to the doctor's surgery. They phoned back two weeks' time. I'll be having a PSA test. Hopefully that infection will be out of my system and that will be the test to see whether or not you have got an issue with your prostate, uh, which may need further uh, work or whatever. So I'll have to look into that and I'm also having the scan, as I say. But in myself, I feel great now. Although I'm not really sleeping all that well, I'm still waking up every hour and a half or so to go for a 100 millilitres wee. Or no, in fact, last night, yeah, it was more. It was 200 millilitres each time of wee. But, um, better than no win. Better than no win, which yeah. I had the last time I had this yeah. five years ago. So, yeah, the infection I had was on par with the infection five years ago when I had this, when I couldn't wee at all. Mm. So, you was getting to that stage, yeah. didn't you? So, the thing to remember is, is that if you do go to the hospital and you're seeing different departments, they don't actually speak to each other. They just collate the evidence or the information that they've got, pass it to your doctor, and your doctor's the one who's supposed to put it all together. So if I wouldn't have mentioned to him that I was in on Boxing Day and I'd had a blood test, but I didn't know what they was, he was then able to log into the A&E records and say, oh, yeah, I can see exactly what's happened there, he said. And, oh, he said, you, you know, you, you, your markers were terrible. That's what he told That's when he told me that he was up to 247. They should be between 0 and 4 sort of thing. So, so there you go. I'm feeling a lot better, although I'm not right. I'm feeling a lot a lot of go in me at the moment and I've, I just want to, the, the flow to improve now and hopefully that will come. I've still got four days, I'm in, in, into me uh, four days to go on the antibiotics so hopefully they'll be better. So we're going to try and put some videos out. I don't know what, what, what format they're going to be in at the moment folks because obviously I've got to get better first. I've got to have the test in two weeks time and uh, we'll be able to move on and take it from there to see what the outcome is and what the, uh, 
that if there's any extra treatment needed or whatever. So, Fingers crossed there isn't. Yeah, but I feel great now within myself. I feel like back to myself. I've done, because it's too cold to go outside, I don't want to go too mad. I've just done 50 laps of the living room, which, believe it or not, is 0.61 miles. Go round and round. So I've been going round and round. I had a nice sleep while you done While that. she was laying there a kip, yeah. Anyway, just a little Can update. Can I just say thank you to family and friends that have messaged us all through this. Your messages mean a lot, so thank you very much. Yeah, and I'm also eating clean now. A few of you have mentioned lifestyle changes. I was going to do that anyway, but it's, it's just a thing that happens with me. Keto. When, whenever I plan a lifestyle change, I normally get ill before I Sharon, don't I? <laughs> it always happens, but I'm into it now. I've been into it since Christmas Day. Yeah. Or the day before Christmas Day, actually. That's when I started to feel a little bit uh, dicky. So, so I'm, tonight, it's just a little bit of meat and veg. Yeah, and what have I had this morning? What did I have? An avocado. avocado, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm doing all the right things. Uh, I've got turmeric I'm having. I'm having, got to get some new apple cider vinegar. Uh, all the vitamin complexes, uh, the zinc and all that, and the magnesiums and all that. I've got all that. I'm taking all them. I'm trying to move about now, but I've got, I don't want to do too much. I put myself back. So it's a matter of moderation and also limiting. Someone mentioned about we eat big dinners. We don't normally eat big dinners. We only have we one do. dinner a day. When we go out, when we go out, we do show stuff and all that, but... In general, most of our food is mostly veg anyway, and we really don't eat a lot of processed food, but processed food is now totally out of the window, and it is clean living now, clean eating, definitely for me anyway. But we will still be doing taste tests probably and stuff like that, so don't worry about that. We're still carrying on with our cooking videos, and you'll see our vlogs. Don't forget, we are primarily, believe it or not, a vlogging channel, so you'll be seeing a lot more of them coming up in the new year as well. Got a few trips visited. Uh, to, to visit it uh, early part of this year so um keep tuned folks keep watching oh have a happy new year yeah, i'm feeling new, a lot yeah. better within myself now so let's move forward let's go on 60 is the new 40s what i was told yeah i'm gonna go 30s <laughs> when i turn 60 i'm gonna be like a 30 and also another thing as well folks i've now got jumping out of bed this morning did you notice how quickly i jumped out of bed this morning yeah no aches or pains Cut out the crap food, so to speak, and I've got no aches or pains. It's taken four or five days, but although I've still got this issue, my all the joint I've got no joint pain anymore. I've got no sort of lethargy getting up in the morning and stuff like I, I jumped out of bed when I got up, although I didn't get out till about 12 o'clock, did I? When I got back in, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd been but that's, that's another story. But uh, yeah. Hello, Bernie. Anyway, thank you very much anyway. Yeah, and thanks, as I said to you, from everybody who sh shared concern. Um, I'm getting there and we're now hopefully going to move on but I don't quite know when the next video may come out it, just accept what we put out folks that's all I can say we haven't built a schedule yet because that's out the window we are still doing that new air fryer so video no premier Sunday and there's a couple of review videos coming up as well one's on a mobile phone and uh, I think one was on a, a I can't remember anyway I'll look at that thanks very much folks have a lovely New Year's Eve and whatever and happy new year for the year coming up Anyway, thanks very much. See you in the next video. And until then, bye. Bye for now.